Hi, what's going on? So we've got a little bit of a weird day today. Yes, I'm sitting here in the room. I've already gone outside and done stuff with the... <laughs> and um, if Aaron had D&D today, I was going to go probably to the stairs and do something there. Because um, I'm not feeling too terribly bad about that. And I could burn off my legs, but maybe I might go do that tomorrow. Um, who knows? But today I figured I've been having a lot of like, hey, I've had this thought. Hey, I've had this thought. Hey. And I've been having thoughts left and right. And I don't know if they're all going to be brought up on the live stream last night. So that's a phrase. Think about the temporal BS of that one. What I had to do. Because you guys are watching this after the fact. So it makes a bit of sense chronologically. But I recorded this before the live stream. And that just came out of my mouth because I'm already living in this video. Anyways, so I posted a Twitter this morning, Saturday, Saturday morning, yes, um, that I'm one of those people that would prefer to be honest and blunt and just right up front. Like when you're going into a negotiation, the theoretical diplomatic negotiation of who's going to show their hands first, who's going to do this, who's going to do that, what are we doing here, what's going on? I'm just going to be like, hey, Here's some stuff about me. I just whole ass don't care. A lot of people go into the world, okay, go into stuff reticent to open up. And here I am just like, what's up? Like, there's someone in Germany, Manuel. Um, not necessarily sure how that's pronounced in German, but that's what I'm looking at. I don't know that most things are probably pronounced relatively similar, especially when they're not a Manuel. Anyways, yes, it's French or Spanish or Mexican or whatever. And so he's like, wow, it's really nice that you're very upfront with me, which tells me something that when the Germans are a little bit weirded out by someone being so upfront with them. And to be fair, the Germans and the Dutch are actually really um, socially conservative. Um, I am very emotionally liberal. Wear your heart on your sleeve. My sleeve is too close to my body. And one of the things I've seen with like other things is Aaron and I were talking about stuff on his um, data analytics, and we were talking about like the like the reduction of data. Um, hypothetical things. Uh, it would be like kids living in Amsterdam. Kids, you know, square that down to how many of those live in Oost. How many of those you know, skateboard, scooter, or roller skate blade. Okay, there's a lot of skateboarders. <laughs> but yeah, how many of them come to this skate park? How many of them, like, you can you keep paring down to the point where it's, and you start getting a very specified amount. And the same thing goes with, like, YouTube subscribers. And people are like, man, look at those subscribers. And I'm sitting here, like, this morning, and I saw there was at 13,840. And I was like, that's nice. That's minus two over the last seven days. I've been hovering between 13.83 and 13.85 for the past two months. It's very weird. Uh, um, and anyways, so yeah, I've got some stuff that I'm doing. Um, and so when you look at that, you look at the total number of subscribers, compared down to how many people actually view, compared down to how many people actually like, like actually hit the button without me saying, you should like a video, go down there, push button. Like you're not, I don't treat people like they're dumb. By and large they are, but I don't treat them that way because I put myself forward as a opening up gesture. I know that people like Willie, Manuel, and several other people are like, wow, you're not like other Americans. Well, at least the Europeans, especially some of my teammates are like, you don't really act like an American. And I'm like, that's because I'm kind of autistic. <laughs> and yeah, so that's pretty much that. And then like, once we get down to like, you know, without me saying, hey, like this, then there's commenting. Matt Peterberg's been doing a real good job at this one. And it's, it's, it seems like neutral feedback, but it's sort of like, like Aaron expressed to me yesterday, he is not much of a talker. 
certainly nothing like I am. And so he doesn't necessarily respond. He, respond, he responds concisely, succinctly, those weird words. And I'm just like, okay, cool, that's fun, uh-huh. And so, yeah, and I'm just like, there's, there, there, you know, like the one video a couple days ago I posted, try to find something interesting in this video, because I couldn't. This one is designed not necessarily to be very interesting, but to be a, what you would listen to as a podcast. There's not really much anything visual here, aside from the weird camera angles that I was utilizing, but that's just theatrics. Um, anyways, so yeah. Um, I was just in here utilizing the gun thing. I know as an American, you're just like, whoa. And so, yeah, it's up there right now because I needed to stand up and get the butt because it's hard to sit and whatever. And notice it's there right next to the rolling pin thing. Yeah. And there's just been other things that have been like weird advice stuff. And, I, and I'm realizing about like and then there's also like other advice stuff about like making friends and like people are like it's so much harder to make friends as an adult and I'm like it's hard because people make it hard I'm not saying that it is easier if everybody did it but this is one of those like socialized ideas here folks if there wasn't this consistent idea that something was hard or difficult to do, then you, then it would not be that hard. But a bunch of people are self, are self convincing that it's hard to do. They feedback, they loop feedback on each other. And it's like, oh, okay. And the same thing applies to uh, old dog, new tricks. Why is that a thing? Brain plasticity, especially for autistics, is crazy until it's later years. Like, I understand that Aaron is doing phenomenal when it comes down to languages, and he was exposed to way more other languages because his dad is one of those type that just loves to interject foreign phrases in the middle of his English stuff, and Jenny goes, you know, like, that, that was Aaron's, that, that, those were dad jokes. Their dogs growing up, didn't they don't understand language but after a fashion they're like trilingual because they're understanding you know german and various other languages that his dad would just speak random singular words <laughs> and it's just like and i didn't have that because my mom was horribly racist you know and so yeah <laughs> um but I'm clicking into languages a little bit more because I don't think of them in the same pathways that other people do. And that's one of the things I might bring up later on the live stream for me to right now, last night for you guys. Anyways, yeah. So Aaron and I are going to go enjoy a bit of the sun. He's reading a script. It's written in that weird play format. Playwright, script writing, whatever. I understand it's a necessary thing, but that writing formatting bugs the fuck out of me. Anyways, I will chat with you guys later. Tomorrow's a football video. We're going to talk about specifically linebacker stuff and all that jazz. And then we will, yeah, 